let's jump right into it. Here I am using MAC Prep and Prime to prep her skin. Next, you'll see me using the Clear Bite Lip Mask to moisturize her lips so that when I put her lipstick on at the end of the session, they'll be nice and ready for it. Here, I'm using the ABH Brow Pencil. Um, she has really nice, fluffy, big, sort of untamed brows, and we didn't want to overdo it, so I just filled in. Um, a few spots here and there, but for the most part, we kind of left them pretty natural. Now I'm prepping her eyelid with the P. Louise base. I will put the color down below in the comments. I'm setting her lid with the translucent powder from Nakia Joy. I absolutely love this stuff and it um, smells so good. For her eye look, I used predominantly the Tarte In Bloom Clay Palette. You'll see me start with the color Flower Child in her crease. It's very, very subtle, but sometimes these little subtle details can make a huge difference. Then you'll see me move on to the color Sweetheart.
I wanted to take the pink tones of this look um, even further, so I pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury quad um, in the exaggerize or exaggerate eyes, however you say it, and I used the deepest pink in the bottom right hand color um, to intensify the pink tones. Then I moved back over to the Tarte in Bloom palette and I used the color Rebel in the outer V, just blending it in as much as I can. Next, I moved on to the color Funny Girl. This is a shimmer, and you'll see me putting this on the inner corner and uh, moving it on to the lid. For liner, I got a tiny angled brush and I used the color Smoke Show from the Tarte palette. Um, I just use, I like to use a powder first to uh, use as a, a guideline. So, um, yep, I just use Smoke Show as her liner first. Then I grabbed my Danessa Myricks Color Fix in Blackout. 
Um, if you've not tried her products, the Color Fix, and just any of her products in general, I highly recommend. Um, this stuff does not budge once it sets down, and it's pure pigment, so you can use it anywhere. Uh, but for this, I'm going to be using the color Blackout to go over uh, that lighter, that liner guideline I gave myself earlier. Moving on to foundation, I have been obsessed with the Huda Beauty, the faux filter foundation. Um, you have to just really blend it in and use a thin, thin layer. Um, so that's what I do. Uh, her color was toasted coconut and I'm applying this with a Real Techniques uh, brush. For concealer, I've been obsessed with the Lancome. Um, again, I will put all the products down below. I'm not exactly sure what color I used, but I will put that below. But this is uh, a wonderful concealer for everyone, um, even on aged skin. Uh, she's still very young, but um, I use it on everyone because it's a fantastic product. It's very thin, but it's high coverage. So I am just tapping it in with my finger um, to get in all the crevices and using the warmth of my finger to just really press it into her skin. Then for um, just, you know, cohesion across the whole face, you'll see me using that same concealer um, to brighten up some of her areas, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the nose, and a little bit on the forehead. I am setting under her eyes with that same Nakia Joy powder. Um, I like this powder more than the Laura Mercier Dare I Say. I don't know what it is. This powder is just absolutely phenomenal. So um, I like to bake under her eyes a little bit. And you also see me put it in her smile lines and her forehead just to pack it in um, and fill in any little spots that may... Uh, have lines or that I want to prevent from creasing. It also is going to brighten up in these areas a little bit as well.
Next, you'll see me using uh, the color Rebel from the Tarte palette to smoke out her bottom lash line. Um, and I also make sure to connect it in the corner so the top and the bottom are cohesive. Then you'll also see me take a little bit of the leader color, which is a little bit darker, but I only, um, I focus this on the very outer edge of her bottom lash line for a little bit of dimension. I steer clear of pinks uh, for the bottom lash line most of the time, just because if you use too much, it can make someone look um, sort of sickly, uh, so just be careful uh, with that. Um, this was more of a soft glam natural bridal trial, so I didn't want any, um, you know, bright pink editorial looks, which is totally cool as well. But for this, I steered clear of pink on the bottom lash. I used the duo glue in the quick set to uh, apply her lashes, and whenever I'm putting lashes on clients, I love to have them keep their eyes open but look down if possible. Um, it just helps keep the top lashes um, from sticking to the bottom lashes. Uh, every now and then a client's eyes will be too sensitive and they just need to close them, and that's totally fine. Uh, but the majority of the time, everyone's okay with keeping them open and looking down, and this just helps speed up the process of putting on lashes, and it's more comfortable than having your eyes glued shut. To add some more dimension to her face, or just to add dimension period, I use the Cinema Secrets, um, f what is that called? It comes in like the five different colors, and I used one that just fit her skin tone for a bronzer. Um, usually I'll do this before I set the under eyes and bake a little bit, but I just somehow I was talking away too much and forgot, so um, you'll just see me try to steer clear of the powder as much as possible. So I'm just putting your normal areas um, Focusing, focusing on the um, high parts of the cheek and around in the forehead and down the neck and things like that. Now I'm just uh, dusting away that powder and I'm using the excess uh, powder from the bake to just sort of set the rest of her face. Some Hula bronzer in the original color. Um, and I just laid it on top of all the areas that I put the cream bronzer from earlier. Sadly, my camera died. 
Boo. Um, this is a brand new camera, so I'm getting used to it, and I was unaware of the, um, l the time that the battery would last, uh, so it died. Off camera, uh, what you missed was me applying, applied the ABH highlighter. I mixed all three colors. Again, I'll put them um, in the description box below, and I also topped it with the Hourglass blush. I believe all that happened off camera, but I wanted you to know what I used, so that is what I used on her face. And you'll see that I took some more of the Nakia Joy powder. I just wanted to clean up um, the colors on her face, um, make it a little bit more sharp. So that is why I have that powder on her face. For lips, I mixed the Danessa Myricks colors Latte and Gingerbread. Um, I used that first, then I stood back and I thought it was a little bit dark for her, so I, um, I put a little bit of Nude 3 in it as well and put that on top and it just lightened it up very subtly, um, but totally worth it. And then I finish off this look with the, the Danessa Myricks in Blackout again, and this time I used it as mascara. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope I covered everything. If I missed anything or if you're just curious, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to each of you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.